What is up guys, Knuckles here with another video, but uh, today I'm going to explain why I haven't posted anything in a while, and uh, it's a video I really don't want to make, it's been a tough week, but um, the reason I haven't posted anything or been really inactive is my dog passed on Friday, she had been sick, uh, for a while she had diabetes and uh, just a little over a week ago they found out that she had cancer in her lymph nodes and they believe it had spread to her lungs uh, because it, it, she was having trouble breathing and one day she collapsed in my home and we noticed she had been getting weaker but in the past few weeks it had really advanced where point where she had trouble getting up uh, her, high, her back legs didn't work anymore, basically. We think she'd gone a bit deaf and was confused. And it wasn't humane to keep her alive. It was, for me it, and my family, it was the best decision that we had her put down. And we much rather have had her, we'd much rather do it that way than just have her, if we find out we come home and she's had a heart attack or a stroke and suffered alone for two hours in pain before she finally passed. So on Friday we brought her to the vet and we, my whole family was there with her, petting her, making her as comfortable as possible. Uh, it was one of the tougher things I had to do in my life because I had my dog since I was five. And uh, I, I gotta say, I love you, Ziggy. I, I do. I always will. You brought my family and I had nothing but joy for 13 and a half years even after three surgeries two being ligament replacements and a knee tissue be having diabetes for almost four years and just fighting a lot and a lot of families they went to they would have put their dog down as a puppy with that with ligament issues but no we, we didn't because we knew you would bring us something special to our family bone in your body and I love you. I have no words to say how much I love you. And putting you down was one of the toughest things we've ever done in our lives. And I will always cherish and remember all the memories that you brought us. And all the joy and smiles when you greeted us at the door every day when we came home from school. Or when you would wake up every morning for us to play with you as a puppy. And I know the last year and a half, I would say, had been really tough. But you were still a trooper, and you didn't show that you were in pain. That's why we didn't know a lot of these things that were wrong with you. But you wanted to make sure that we were the happiest as we could be. And you did that. So thank you, Ziggy. <sighs> Alright, well, I guess I'll show you guys two now. Um... this yeah I got a dragon and you notice we moved the scorched earth we did this about about a week ago no sorry more like two weeks ago and I finally only just recently raised this dragon oh there's another raptor bear fuck him up fuck him up past the come on that's been a problem with the raptors recently Uh, but I got to give a big shout out to my friends, Prince, Shannon, and Sin Anomaly for helping out with this. I believe it was those three. They actually did help raise this dragon uh, when I wasn't there. There was a couple times where I wasn't able to show up for the imprinting and stuff. And they got it milk. So I got to thank you guys a lot. Uh, I know I don't say enough often to you guys. So, yeah, thank you. I really appreciate it. And I guess I'll show you some of the houses. This is my house right now. I built all of Adobe. Uh, currently, that windmill isn't connected to anything. But I'll probably connect it in a bit. And we don't have a lot going on so far. I'll probably do a proper house tour in the next video. But I just feel like I just show you that this is now season two for a bit. Um, yeah. 
and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.